Hi guys, this is Nildu. So the issue is how to export a subdivided mesh from Character Creator 4 to Unreal Engine. I've always had this problem and uh, looking over the internet I noticed a lot of people also had this issue. What we're trying to do is basically export, um, not export this resolution, but export this re this this resolution. Now, as of now, or up until now, there's still no way to do that within Character Creator or iClone. However, I think I found a way to do that uh, with the help of Blender. This is what I'll, I'll try to show you guys now. Okay, with the, with the character cr uh, created and selected, what we have to do is go to File, Export, FBX, Loaded Character. And then what we do here is, I've already done this before, so that's why the settings are not default. So you have to choose Unreal here, choose Mesh, and then you have to, you have to export it as an A-Pose. To do that, you untick the, you go to this button over here, and then you untick the Embed Motion. Now you have the option to select either T-Pose or A-Pose. I'm not entirely sure that if the a, uh, if this process only works with an A-Pose, it might work with a T-Pose, I do not know. But this is how I got it to work. So after that, you just do export, just press OK on this, and then uh, in my case, I'll just select whatever I did before because I had done this test before. So you just let it wait. I'm sorry, you just let it uh, do the whole process. After that, you open up Blender, delete all the default cube and the camera, and you just go and file import normal FBX. So you don't use the CC Blender tools from, uh, from uh, Reillusion. I don't think this will work for this. So you do import FBX, you go to the file that you exported from CC3, the, the, the CC4, sorry. So the main issue here is you have to leave this automatic bones off. I've tried it with on and it didn't work. So accept everything. So yeah, after a while, what we get is this. Now, I don't know why this bone ends up like this or in, in this position, but it doesn't seem to be affecting anything in, uh, in the final result. What we need to conf to check now is whether or not this mesh will be affected if the armature is turned off. So, as you can see, if I turn it off, nothing is nothing is deforming uh, in a weird way. So, so this is good. So that's why we need to export this as an A pose from uh, Character Creator. I tried to exporting uh, using the default um, A pose from Unreal, and it didn't work. So after this, you need to have installed the Shape Keys Keeper. You need to install SK Keeper from Edgeflow. So this uh, add-on will allow us to basically bake the high-res version, okay, and let you keep the Shape Keys. You know, it's yeah, it's a lifesaver. So what you do right now, this is how the mesh looks. Add a shape. I have to add a subdivision. Subdivision. So, so object apply subdivision. Wait a bit. So the main mesh. Oops, sorry. So the main mesh is subdivided, as you can see. All we need to do now to see if everything is okay is check that the armature is still working. So I'm just gonna do some quick rotations here. You can see that. Well, that's just the facial bone. But if you can, if you select the jaw, everything seems to be working. Um, you can also check whether or not the bones of the body uh, is working. Everything seems to be working. This is the other bone. I need the thigh. Yes.
So what we need to do now is also repeat the same process for the other meshes. So right now we've done the body, now we go for the eye, eye occlusion, tear line, teeth and tongue. So yeah, this is all there is to it. You don't need to do anything else. Everything is properly weighed. The, the, the shape keys are also present. So all you have to do now is just basically press A to select all, export as FBX, leave everything as is except for selected, uh, selected objects and go to smoothing by face. So yeah, FBX export and now we're going to go into the process of importing the high-res mesh onto unreal engine 5 so we'll just do this import now this is the part that's going to take a while at least for me you know it's it took about 15 to 20 minutes i'm not kidding at some point i actually thought that unreal had crashed or froze but no i just let it play it out and I think it's going to happen to you guys as well. As soon as you press open, this is going to take a long time. I even timed it. For this character in particular, it took it took about 16 minutes to export. Okay, after about 16 minutes again, I finally have the FBX import options window. Here I don't really do need to do anything other than check if import morph targets is on. I'll, I'll just leave the import animations, but in this case my character doesn't have any anim any animations yet I'll just press import This will also take a bit of time but not as much as the first pr uh, the first stage of the process so yes after about I don't know 30 seconds or so we finally have the high-res mesh imported onto unreal engine 5 Let's see how it worked So if you double click so yeah, this is what's happening right now. Um, aside from these bones, I don't really know why they they end up like this, but you know, it's I, I can see it's the IK hand bones. Some other bones seem to be also misaligned. I don't know. I don't know why or how to fix them. But it doesn't seem to be affecting the animations that come from iClone Eight. If you want to see, I can show you the wireframe. As you see, this is the subdivided mesh. Let me see. So if you go to the window where you can see the morphs, let's just check the morphs if everything is okay. Um, just wait a bit, okay. As you can see, the morphs seem to be working. None no other part of the mesh is moving earlier when I tried to export this using the you know the APOS that uh, for Unreal that comes with CC4 whenever I moved these uh, these sliders for some reason the the other parts of the mesh would also move and so that's why I said please import the mesh or please work with the mesh with an APOS so yeah, everything seems to be working. So now I'll import an animation done that I did with iClone. I have iClone 8 open here. This is just a test animation. I wanted to see how well it imported back into Unreal. So what I did here just started with an A pose. And I purposely uh, put the character away from the 0, 0, 0 position. So in this case, I have him animated don't mind the animation of the hands and the face this this is just a random animation I just wanted to test if everything comes into I uh, into Unreal Engine 5 properly I'll just do file export export FBX Unreal this is the proper range I don't need the texture don't need the max texture size I leave everything at default just to export after all this is done I just Save. I'm just gonna overwrite this. This is basically the same file that I did before as a test. Right, going back in Unreal, I just go and import the. Everything is, seems to be okay so far. Right now, all I have to do is just select that 
uh, skeleton of that character. I don't need the mesh, so I take that off. Just check if 25 FPS is done. And all we have to do is just import. And here it is. It imports as two. I don't know why it does that, but what we the, the motion that we want is this one. So as you can see, everything seems to be. Let me just pause. Everything seems to be in order. I mean, regardless of whether or not these bones seem to be misaligned, even the bones for the fingers. This bone, I don't know why it's pointing that way and if I show wireframe as you can see this this character doesn't have LODs yet that's gonna be my step my next step but I just wanted to show you that it is in fact working with the high-res mesh and nothing is deforming uh, in a bad way Just close this. I can even try and use the level sequence here. Just let me delete this one. Go to Kari. I res mesh. Oopsie. And let me just put this four. And you can you can see that it's properly it's properly imported at 25 fps as well everything seems to be a okay wireframe you can still check it's still going for subdivision mesh so yeah finally this is a workaround i really wish that the reillusion team can get this working without having to go on to other <coughs> CC, uh, DCC apps it would really help a lot if we could just go from CC to Unreal but hey if that's not possible this is the way to go for me so thanks for watching I hope you learn and uh, something from this bye bye